One common use for capacitors is as a temporary energy source during switching operations. To help understand this capacitor application, we'll look at a similar system that stores fluid energy. One example of a capacitor-like device is the tank on the back of a toilet. The water line won't directly provide enough water to flush the toilet, so we store water in the toilet tank to flush the toilet. After we flush, the energy gets replaced when the toilet tank slowly fills up again. My water's pumped out of a well. It's bad for your pump to turn it on and off every time you open a faucet to get a glass of water. The tank has an air bubble. In it. When the pump goes on, the water enters this tank, which compresses the air bubble. When the pressure in the tank gets high enough, the pump turns off again. As I use water, the air bubble expands, releasing the stored energy. I've shown a couple of different fluid systems that behave the same way as a switched capacitor. They all store energy when it's available and release it when it's needed. There are lots of different ways to store energy, but they all behave about the same way. Even better, they're all described by exactly the same math. For more information, click on the link in the description.